How do you, how do each of you, how did you convince the senior campaign decision makers to allocate a online budget to put resources to digital? You, you know, because quite frankly, these campaigns are run by folks who are used to direct mail and in uh, phone calls and what have you. We were very fortunate because Beth Myers, one of our senior strategists, lived an off-the-grid lifestyle. And she did not watch live television. She lived on her DVR. She watched Netflix, she Hulu. And so we were able to sign and say, Beth, how would someone talk to you? How would someone talk to your children? And that got us a seat at the table in order for the budgeting that occurred. And then I think after that, it was ROI driven. It was, we became, as we, as we had to expand, very fundraising focused. And that's really where we had to see it. And so we had to continuously go back and use that as justification. And I think that, you know, if the election had been earlier, you know, our adoption of Twitter and Facebook throughout the campaign, that also, you know, people bought the condo a lot later in some of our environments too. And by the time they did though, we had big enough audiences that people were like, wow, I mean, you'd post something and you'd look back and 100,000 people liked it and you're like, wow, that's really driving the message. And then we did a lot of sentiment analysis that was going on with our tracking, it was part of our strategy. And you would see that when Mitt delivered a message and our social media complemented it, completely in line, it actually had a longer life cycle on, than it did just television alone. If we ran a TV spot, you know, a couple days later it burnt out, but if Mitt was saying a message and social was in line with it, and that was kind of the, the analysis that we were able to take back and get more resources as a result. Uh, well, again, we did have the benefit of the largely our senior team was consistent for quite a while. So it was a lot easier certainly in 12 for us than, than 08. Uh, I think we came in with it, you know, we spent a lot of the years in between trying to figure out you know, what, what is our, our media opportunity and our strategy to look like. So there's a, there's a, there's a lot of buy-in and people do get it. I mean, David Axelrod's on Twitter, he actually does it himself. For those who follow, he's actually pretty funny, which is frightening for all of us. Um, uh, but no, I, I think it really does depend a little bit on the objective, right? I don't look at, uh, our, we ended up with a, a very substantial digital budget by the end of the campaign, but there was never one moment where like, we're gonna put 10% or 50% or 30% of our budget online. There were a lot of individual decisions about specific objectives that ended up adding up to a very serious number. Uh, in, at first, you know, in 2011, to your point about investing early, I couldn't agree more with that. Uh, I remember the day we were, you know, a couple days before we launched the campaign, uh, and we didn't really have a staff yet, uh, and we sat with Messino, and we're, we're like, well, we have to invest. And to his credit, we didn't have any money, and he said, okay. Uh, and I, you know, at the time, it was pretty scary. We, we weren't sure if we were going to make our money back. And, you know, in, in we're get, getting supporters and rebuilding up that list. And if we had to do it all over again, we'd spend twice as much. So that early investment was absolutely the right thing to do. Is that, how frustrating was it, Zach, that, uh, that Andrew and, and his colleagues had years to build, a, really build on an in, in, in existing infrastructure and you had uh, like two weeks? Yeah. I mean, it was exceptionally frustrating, but I mean, we never begrudged them for it. I mean, if I could do it again, I'd do it as an incumbent, right? I mean, <laughs> that would be my, my biggest takeaway from 2012. Um, but I thought what they did was awesome. I mean, they are the, the greatest digital operation in the history of, of politics, I mean, in the United States. And, and so, you know, we looked at it, and I think it's some things we got to do. We got to look at some things we did. We got to kind of reverse engineer and also do some of the things that we wanted to do. But I think that, you know, the challenge for us really was, you know, where do we find X engineers from? Like, you know, we did all these things, like we had externships. We had all our big donors go out and say they're going to go to their companies. But, you know, there's this kind of the mythology that, like, you know, if you just, you know, build it, they will come, and we say, you know, you didn't build it, and they didn't come, and like, that was one of the challenges that we had, is that, you know, things were really difficult to scale up to, and we ran out of runway, and I think that was our biggest challenge when we were looking at it, so we had to be a little bit more tactical. I mean, I spent a lot of the campaign going on the record because I knew they couldn't, so I just wanted to do anything I could to kind of poke the bear and see what happened, and kept doing it, and I really kind of latched onto this thing like, you know, the vanity metrics and others, because we had to find points of differentiation, because they worsed their lists were so much bigger publicly, and I think that also for us, we need to show after 2008 that we as a party were really investing in it, that Mitt believed in it, that the campaign management would give us resources because I never got the feeling, you know, there were one-offs of people second-guessing, but we had resources, we had a staff, we got up to 140 people, and then some, I mean, we were very fortunate that we were able to do that in that environment. I just feel like, could we have done it in February? Would we look completely different? Yes, because it is a hockey curve and things are changing so fast by October. Three more months and we could have done so many more things, but that's, that's life.